number 9 then from the 2007 Advanced Higher Maths summation formulae signotation not proof by induction but signotation there are certain of these formulas that you're meant to know certain of these signotations you're meant to know that if you add up a whole load of ones if there's n of them all together then the total will just be n if you add up all the counting numbers all the natural numbers then the sum would be a half of n times n plus 1 Similarly for the squares, do that in a minute, and similarly for the cubes, summing the cubes. The cubes is easier to remember than the second one because it just turns out to be the square of this first one. So it's just squaring the parts. So a half squared is a quarter, n squared is n squared, and then the bracket squared. The sum of the squares, the formula for that is this. A sixth of n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And when you get a question like this, it's just a case of splitting that up into these different formulae, whichever ones apply. So, what have we got? The sum of 4, that's the same as 4 lots of the sum of 1. Minus the sum of 6r, that's like 6 lots of the sum of r. I'll put in those parts again. So, what's that? Adding a lot of 1s gives you n. 6 times adding the counting numbers gives you a half n n plus 1. Tidying that up, I've got 4n minus, that's 3n times n is 3n squared, minus 3n times 1 is 3n. Tidying that up, I've got 4n minus 3n is single n minus 3n squared. And of course, I should have started off by saying I'll take the left-hand side, which was that, and show that I produced the right hand side. There it is, that's the first part. Now the next part, hence write a formula for the sum up to 2q of exactly the same expression. It's just one mark because that's just a case of replacing n with 2q. So I'm going to have 2q minus 3 times 2q squared. I could tidy that up then into 2q minus, that's 4 times 3 is 12q squared. Now the last part says, show that the sum from q plus 1 to 2q is given by this expression. Well, I'll not do it as a left hand side, right hand side, I'll just do it directly from here and see what happens. Well. That simply means if this is the formula starting all the way from 1 up to 2q, this doesn't start from 1. This, is start, this starts from 1 after q. So that means it would be the same as that. It would be sigma r equals 1 to 2q, meaning the whole lot. But take away, I better put the wee bit in, 4 minus 6r, but take away the first part that you were ignoring, which means you were starting at 1 and only going up to q, because I only wanted the part after q. Q plus on, 1 onwards. Well, I've got that formula, so it's just a case of getting this one. Well, that formula, I'll put it down again, was 2Q minus 12Q squared minus whatever this formula is, and that'll be exactly the same, only with the N's replaced with Q's. So that will be Q minus 3Q squared. So, finally, what will that be? 2Q, take away a single Q, That'll be a single Q. Negative 12 plus 3, negative 9. So minus 9, Q squared as required. Not too bad.